Hi and uh, welcome uh, to a new uh, video and a part three uh, of my three day trip uh, to Dovre. Um, on day three our plan was uh, to go to a different group of muskoxen, uh, not the same group uh, like yes, uh, the day before, but uh, our guide uh, has been talking to other guide and he uh, uh, said that the other group we were planning uh, to uh, to visit uh, were, sit, uh, were standing into a valley in almost a small ditch so that uh, you if you take pictures you will take pictures uh, downwards and uh, you, so you never will get in a really nice uh, position uh, so uh, then our guide decided and, and, and uh, said we uh, probably go uh, uh, to the same group, the five bulls we have been the day before, and that would be probably the better choice. And that is what we done. We again drove up with the car and walked uh, to the five uh, bulls from the day before. I had fallen head first into love with another complete stranger. When we reach uh, the five bulls again, this time the bulls were more to the left, where it was really snowy, and they were a little bit nice, a better position than the day before. So we got almost in the same position with our cameras and were able to uh, get some really nice images of the musk oxen in this really snowy, white uh, landscape. Almost these uh, white out images, which I really loved. Uh, happy that we uh, got uh, happy that I got these images I took a lot of images, I took a lot of videos, and then uh, we heard some ptarmigans. There were uh, a group of ptarmigans uh, passing uh, by. Uh, first I didn't saw them because they are white and walking in this white snow. But then I saw them and there were probably uh, more than 20 ptarmigans. Uh, they were walking and uh, I was able to take a few images and some videos of these uh, ptarmigans. I never have seen so many uh, ptarmigans uh, at the same time. It was absolutely incredible.
after a few hours uh, the moss oxen went behind a small hill so we they, we didn't saw them anymore so we changed our position still in a good distance of around 200 meters and, and then uh, we saw the uh, moss oxen uh, laying down and resting uh, and were quite calm and uh, we took a few images and then uh, there doesn't didn't happen much, so we had some time to uh, had some uh, warm drinks and uh, eat uh, some lunch. After a while, we saw a uh, other person coming up uh, towards our position. Uh, and uh, after a while we recognized he had a camera with him, so it was the other photographer. And he saw the, uh, uh, our position where we were sitting and uh, in which direction our cameras were pointing. So we thought that he might uh, come to, uh, to us and uh, was sitting with, uh, sit with us and uh, taking pictures of the moss oxen. But after a while he just disappeared behind some uh, hills and I didn't saw him anymore. And uh, I. I thought he would uh, walk uh, maybe to other location, try to find uh, other moss oxen. But then, unfortunately, uh, he made a really bad decision. He just uh, popped up over the edge, uh, just above uh, the moss oxen, very close to the moss oxen, resting in the snow. And the moss oxen were just jumping up and were running towards our position. Um, we were... Uh, quite safe because we had this ditch between us and the moss oxen so the moss oxen had to run around the ditch so we just took a lot of images while the moss oxen were running through the snow and then our guide said okay now we had to move uh, by sides so on not standing in the way for the moss oxen and our heartbeats were really high because uh, five moss oxen running they are heavy but they are really really fast like horses uh, we got some incredible images, but uh, the situation uh, for the moss oxen was absolutely not good. The other photographer had done something uh, really stupid and stressed these animals. And we got some really nice images, the other photographer didn't get any images of that. As soon as the moss oxen saw that we were moving uh, and w were walking away, they just stopped because they were not attacking us. They were just scared away from the other photographer uh, and they just stopped and uh, we <laughs> could get in a good safe distance and uh, could a little bit calm down because uh, that was an absolute amazing uh, feeling to get these five moss oxen running towards uh, us.
the moss oxen after they run uh, and the, the stress they got they use a lot of energy which is not really good for the animals and uh, they calm down uh, after a while they were laying down again in the snow and resting and we decided uh, uh, just to go back to the car uh, we could stay uh, we had still uh, plenty of hours with really nice light but uh, we thought uh, uh, now the animals got too much stress so it's a good time to go back uh, to the car and uh, going home Thank you. 